Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a topic for a solution of ordinary differential equation. The next method is Euler's method. So today we will discuss about a theory of Euler's method. The question might be asked in the examination. Explain Euler's method for a solution of ordinary differential equation or derive Euler's formula if we have a function dy by dx equal to f of x comma y along with its graphical representation. Now already in the previous lecture we discussed about Taylor series method. In a Taylor series method numerical solution of ordinary differential equation is to be given in a series of y in terms of x. But in the Euler's method the value of y is to be calculated by a short step ahead for an equal interval of h. So let us consider that dy by dx which is equal to y dash which is equal to f of x comma y will be a given function and y of x0 will be equal to y0. Now what is the meaning of this? That is when x equal to x0 we will have a value y equal to y0. This will be an initial value. Now let us consider x0, x1, x2 up to xn will be the actual equal distance points with a spacing h. So let h will be equal to step size and formula of a step size is nothing but x1 minus x0. Now let me draw a graph indicating y equal to f of x. So this will be your x axis this will be your y axis which is equal to f of x. Let me draw a curve, suppose let's say this is a curve, actual curve which will indicate y equal to f of x. So now suppose I will take a different color here so that it will be easy for understanding. So let us say I have taken one point, this is nothing but your x axis value which is x0 and its corresponding value on a y axis will be y0. Similarly, let us consider suppose this will be another point which is equal to x1 and if I extend this then I will get a point which will be equal to y1. So let us consider that suppose we have taken a tangent, we have taken tangent at point x equal to x0. So let me draw a tangent here. Let's see this is what is a tangent which is to be drawn. drawn. So here I will complete this triangle first. So we will get this point is nothing but P. This point here is nothing but Q. And this point is nothing but a R. Now from a triangle I will write it here in triangle PQR. Let's say this is your angle and this angle is nothing but what? Let me take it as a theta. Now in triangle PQR, we can write it as tan theta will be equal to what is your tan theta? Opposite upon hypotenuse. So QR divided by PR. What will be the value of QR? How we can represent here QR? If you see a diagram, we can write QR will be equal to Y1 minus Y0. And the line PR will be represent this PR will be represented as x1 minus x0. So let us consider this as a equation number 1. Now in the equation number 1 we are going to substitute value so therefore I can write tan theta will be equal to what is qr? qr will be equal to y1 minus y0 divided by what is pr? It will be equal to x1 minus x0. Already we have seen that what is this x1 minus x0? it is nothing but step size h. So in place of this x1 minus x0 I will write it as this will be your step size which is h. But we know that in a mathematics slope to the line slope of a line it is represented by dy by dx derivative derivative of y with respect to x. So if you see in a diagram here we have drawn a slope at point x equal to x0 that is in other words I can say that tan theta here will be equal to what 
dy by dx at x equal to x0. So substitute here. What you will get? dy by dx at x equal to x0 will be equal to y1 minus y0 upon h. So from this, I will be able to write a formula for y1 which will be equal to h. If you see h into dy by dx at x equal to x0 plus y0. In other words, I can write a formula here as y1 will be equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0. f of x0 comma y0 means what? f of x comma y is nothing but your given function that is y dash will be equal to f of x comma y and here we are going to substitute x equal to x0 and y equal to y0 then we will get it as dy by dx at x equal to x0. So this is what is important formula for Euler's method. Now what is the difference between Taylor series method and Euler's method? In case of Taylor series method we need to find it out derivative of a term which is very tedious task it is very complicated but if you see in a Euler's method we are using a short step size which is ahead for equal interval of a h. So but obvious solution of this problem will be easy or we can solve ordinary differential equation by Euler's method with very easy steps. So this is what is the derivation of Euler's method. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, please comment in a comment box. Thank you.